What's up guys? Welcome back to the Yurt Sanctuary. I'm Nancy and I am your Yurt Goddess. That's right, you heard me. I'm a goddess. Yay! And today I'm going to be sharing with you the five things you should do before installing a wood burning stove. So we finally got our wood burning stove and we're going to be installing it in our beautiful yurt. So five things you need to do before you install a wood burning stove but first let me remind you please if you're getting something out of this video hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe so number one and do this before buying the stove research the fire codes in your area number two know the epa standards for wood burning stoves you want to make sure you comply with both the, the fire codes and the EPA standard. Number three, choose the right size stove for your space. So research the stove specifications before buying it. You don't wanna buy a stove that's too small and it doesn't heat up your space. And then you're gonna be like, oh, hi, puppy, I'm so cool. <laughs> or also you don't wanna buy a stove that's too big and expensive and you're gonna waste all that energy and it's gonna make you so hard. You're gonna be like, oh, I got hot flashes research and buy the right stove so we chose the vermont casting c3 aspen stove it's compact yet strong enough to heat our 20 foot yurt that's all we need it has no manual controls this is like the simplest stove you will ever operate. It's ideal for small and mid-sized spaces. It has a continuous combustion control. That's what the C3 stands for. Technology automatically optimizes heat output and efficiency throughout the life of the burn. What does that mean? That means that it gives us up to 10 hours. 10 hours! It's 10 hours of burn time from each load of wood so we don't have to keep getting up and loading it and after you buy your stove number four do this always read and follow the manufacturer's installation instructions they are detailed and you cannot cannot go wrong if you follow the instructions before i tell you what number five is don't forget to subscribe. This here video is going to be a part of a series that's going to be showcasing the entire installation of our wood burning stove. So you don't want to miss the upcoming videos. The next video will be on installing the piping for the chimney, which we've already started working on. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Okay, I know you've been waiting for this. And number five use fire resistant cement boards for the surface floor and backsplash to protect any combustible area so our combustible areas are the wood floors that the stove will be on and the yurt lattice and canvas walls behind the stove so obviously we want to protect that so we use the hardy cement boards and then you can put a layer of fire fireproof material on top of the cement boards. It could be fire bricks, even porcelain tiles. We chose limestone. So we bought um, two, two pieces of limestone. They measured two feet by two feet. We ended up with obviously two feet by four feet of limestone. And that's where our beautiful wood burning stove is on. Um, and if you're wondering how do, in the world that we build this yurt, check out the video links down below we have videos showing you how we did it just the two of us all right so don't forget do these five things before you install your wood burning stove good luck thanks for tuning in don't miss the next video we'll be uncreating the stove and starting the installation see you then